Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with elimination. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. 4x plus 4y plus z equals 24, 2x minus 4y plus z equals 0, and 5x minus 4y minus 5z equals 12, and we want to solve this by elimination. We want to find two equations that when we add them together, some variable eliminates. I can see my first two equations, we can do that. If we rewrite this, 4x plus 4y plus z equals a 24, and the second equation, 2x minus 4y plus z equals zero. And from here, right, what we can see is, well, we can add the two values here to eliminate the variable y. 4y plus, or positive 4y minus 4y gives me zero. So they eliminate, hence the method, and we add the rest. So we have 4x plus 2x, which is a 6x, and a z plus z is a 2z. 24 plus zero, well, 24, <laughs> not too bad. All right, but we have two variables here. So we'll see if we can take two other equations and we can eliminate, uh, eliminate them to get, again, another variable gone. Well, if I look at the first equation and the last equation, okay, we can eliminate a variable, the y's. And that's cool, you want the same variable to be eliminated as well. So let's rewrite that here, 4x plus 4y plus z equals a 24. And the last equation, 5x minus 4y minus 5z equals a 12. I add these two equations together and look what eliminates, again, the y. And that was by design. That's why we chose these two equations. Add it together. 4x plus 5x is a 9x. z uh, plus a negative 5z is a negative 4z. And 24 plus a 12 is a 36. So now we have two equations here that each has an x and each has a y, and we can really try to eliminate that, okay? Or find a way to uh, eliminate a variable. I'm looking at my z's. We have a negative 4z here and a positive 2z. If I multiply this, second, this equation right here all by 2, right, I'd have a 12x plus a 4z equals a 48. I then can bring this equation over underneath it, 9x minus 4z equals a 36. So this, this equation here is the same as this one, just adapted a little, multiplied everything by two, which is legal in mathematics. That allows us now to eliminate the z. We add together, the z's cancel, and we're left with 12x plus a uh, 9x is 21x, equals 48 plus 36, which is an 84. Divide both sides by 21, and x equals just positive 4. So all that work just to get one variable. Well, where can we go from here? We want to take an equation that's kind of easy to work with, and we can plug a 4 in to get another variable out. And I see the z, this one here, 6x plus 2z equals 24. So I'm going to rewrite that up here, and we're going to put x in for 4. We have 6 times 4 plus 2z equals 24. And now we can solve for z. 6 times 4 is a 24. And we have, again, the 2z right here equals 24. Subtract the 24 to both sides, and 2z equals, well, 0. Divide both sides by 2, and z equals 0. And we have a second value now that we have found. So we have an x and we have a z value. We need to find a y value. So we take one of our equations and we're going to plug in x and z for our variables. I picked here the second equation. Okay. So let's go rewrite that second equation here. But instead of x, so that one right here, instead of x, I'm putting a 4. And then we have minus 4y plus, and instead of z, I'll put a 0. And then we have 0 at the end. And now we have to solve for y. Well, it's not too bad. 2 times 4 is a, well, a uh, 8 minus 4y equals, well, don't need a 0, 0. 
Subtracting 8 to both sides, you have negative 4y equals a negative 8. Divide both sides by a negative 4, and y equals a positive 2. And so we have our y value now, so we can, well, we have everything. We can write it as a coordinate point, 4, comma, 2, comma, 0. And that's our solution. x is 4, y is 2, and z is 0. And that's our final answer. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.